Hey folks, Phantom Fish here. One of the things that originally attracted me to DJI Phantoms is all of the technology that they put in place within the drone itself and the application to keep that drone safe uh, from crashing or from flyaways, that sort of thing. And today we're going to be looking in depth at one of those features. More specifically, we're going to be answering the question, what happens when there is an interruption in the communication between the transmitter and the drone? Okay, so what happens when there is a problem with your tablet or your cell phone? Maybe the battery dies. Maybe there's something wrong with the USB port on the transmitter. Maybe the transmitter uh, runs out of batteries or you drop it and it breaks. What happens to the drone if it's still flying when all of this happens? Today we're going to find out. Let's get to it. Okay, so I got my Phantom all set to go. I got my transmitter all set to go as well. So I'm going to be using my tablet as my display. Now the first problem that I'm going to try to simulate is going to be some kind of uh, problem with the application. So something wrong with DJI Go. Uh, something goes wrong with the app and it closes down and you can't navigate your Phantom anymore. Or some problem with uh, your tablet battery or your cell phone battery or something goes wrong and we're going to simulate this by just pulling this cable right out and that's going to stop all communication from your display to the transmitter and I'm wondering what is going to happen at that point is it going to bring the phantom right back or is it just going to stay out there and hover until you um, you know, regain communication or until the battery dies and it just kind of sits itself down or returns to home. So we're going to see uh, what we can do there now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out not very far. I'm just going to take it out maybe about 20 yards or so, uh, just far enough where it's not at its home point. And then uh, I'll kind of keep an eye on it. And then we'll pull this cable and we'll see what happens. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, I got it hovering, probably, I don't know, it seems like it's maybe 30 yards or so out there. Maybe a little bit further, just a touch further, but not too far away. But it's far enough out there where it is definitely, you know, clearing um, the home point set by the GPS. So I'm going to go ahead and interrupt communication here on the tablet, and we're going to see what happens. So here is the fault. Oops. So we no longer have communication there. And it says disconnected up here on the tablet. It's gone to a black and white screen. And I'm just gonna kinda watch this and see what it does, if it does anything. Maybe I'll walk out there a little bit. It's still just kinda hovering in place. I don't know if after a while it's going to realize that it lost communication or if it would just stay out there until the battery dies. Oh wait, is that moving? No, I think it was just a gust of wind. It looks to be just kind of chilling out there. So I'm going to sit here and I'll give it a little bit of time and We'll see what happens. So here it is. It's been about five minutes or so, and that guy has not moved at all. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in and see what happens. As you can see, now it says no signal at the top. It must have uh, switched to that shortly after saying disconnected. So let's plug this back in and see what happens. Oh, it says disconnected now, but now it's reconnected. Is it gonna wake back up or not nothing yet I pulled it back out sticking it back in oh sure enough there it goes it says safe to fly it's back it's connected can I interact with it I sure can so look at that. That is interesting. So it just kind of waited there for me to reestablish that connection. Well, if you didn't have connection, 
Uh, if your battery completely ran out on your display device or on your cell phone or you dropped it and that broke, uh, you would be kind of stuck. Uh, you would have to sit there and wait for, um, for things to run out of battery and for it to land itself or to return to home or you would have to rely on this transmitter. Hopefully that piece still worked because then you could still control it, fly home by hand, hopefully by sight. If, if you're too far out though and you couldn't see it, uh, you may have a heck of a time getting it back. So that was the first thing that we needed to test. Now, let's move on to the second test, and that is what if we drop this whole thing and the whole transmitter breaks and uh, it, it powers off, or the battery runs out and it powers off. What happens to the drone? Okay, so the Phantom is still out there, still flying. Why don't we go ahead and simulate that problem by just powering this thing off, and let's see what happens. Here we go. Turn it off, signal just died. It says disconnected up here on the top. Oh, the Phantom is just skyrocketing. It's going right up to the return to home altitude. I don't know if you can see that, here it comes. It's right over the top of me. And it looks like it's coming down. Well, how about that? That is one awesome safety precaution that it has. That is cool. For a long time, I've been worried about, you know, flying this thing off too far and somehow, for some reason, the transmitter breaks or something goes wrong there, I run out of battery or the, or, or what have you, you know? And, and now I know firsthand from trial, um, this thing is gonna come right on back. So it's important to set that return to home altitude because it looks like it uses that. As soon as it lost communication with the transmitter, it zoomed straight up to that return to home altitude. Um, and it looks like mine was set, uh, not sure what it was set to, 50 meters maybe. And it came right on home and landed right next to my Jeep, all on its own. That is pretty darn cool. Well, there you have it, folks. How about that?